Let's go! So Jesus is the new single. Um, my dad told me I need to put out a quartet song on my record because I let him hear the whole CD and he was just like, man, you need to you need to put out a quartet song. And I was like, I got one. Just finish listening to the record first and then you see if you're satisfied. So um, he listened to Jesus. He was like, you know, that's not quartet, but it's 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 borderline. So I was like, are you satisfied or not? And he was like, yeah, he, he liked the song Jesus. So Jesus was, um, I wanted to do a hymn. I wanted to make it something that I, my generation would want to listen to. Cause you know, we do the whole CCM stuff right now and it's hard to get people to go back to the old songs and just pull them back and just merge them. Everybody that's always talking about, let's bridge the gap, let's bridge the gap. But you could just bridge the gap if you just get some hymns and you get some new songs and you just tie it together. We just did a uh, new worship night at the church called The Bridge and we pulled a lot of old songs and a lot of new songs and just bridged it together and it was like, a phenomenal night. So um, that's what I wanted to do with Jesus and put it out and it took off. We did a music video to it and the actual music video, how can I say this? The video that we that people see on YouTube, the footage that's after it is the footage that people was like, yo, that is crazy because it's like everybody's doing like a solo on the song Jesus. So yeah. It became like it became a worship night instead of a video recording and that's and that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be like like reality TV type situation like you got to go over here and do this. Y'all do this, y'all do that. It was just it felt natural. Everybody was doing their own thing.